Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Estonian Central Bank to conduct digital currency research. They're following other central banks, including the European Central Bank, and is studying virtual currencies. The next article, two fraud allegations against Ripple dropped as XRP lawsuit moves forward. The U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California has ruled to dismiss two fraud allegations against Ripple, but gives the green light to proceed on the suit regarding Ripple's violations of the California Corporation's Code. The next article, debt cancellation needed to help poorest countries, the World Bank president states. And if you've followed us, then you've seen how we've shared how the IMF has removed debt from previous countries. I believe it was around 26 countries had their debt removed. The issue at hand could trigger a debt crisis in some countries, so investors must be ready for granting some form of relief that could also include debt cancellation. The World Bank president, David Malpass, was quoted as saying on Sunday that it is evident that some countries are unable to repay the debt they have taken on, and we must therefore also reduce the debt level. This can be called debt relief or cancellation, Malpass had told the Handelsblatt Business Daily in an interview. It is important that the amount of debt is reduced by restructuring, Malpass added. And he pointed to similar steps in previous financial crises, such as in Latin America and the so-called HIPC initiative for highly indebted countries in the 1990s. Thailand's central bank issues 1.6 billion USD worth of government bonds on IBM blockchain. The Bank of Thailand, the country's central bank, has issued $1.6 billion worth of government savings bond on IBM blockchain. And the news announced by IBM, which said the central bank's blockchain-based platform was launched, and it also helps reduce the time and cost of issuing bonds. Previously, the issuance process took 15 days, and now it takes just two. As for cost, IBM said all parties, issuers, underwriters, and registrars benefit as blockchain reduces the operating and reconciliation costs. IBM collaborated with several parties for the effort. The Bank of Thailand Public Debt Management Office, Thailand Securities Depository Company, and Thailand Bond Market Association, as well as four banks, Bangkok Bank, Krong Thai Bank, Kazakh Corn Bank, and Siam Commercial Bank are all participants. And we do like IBM as it tends to connect back to Stellar. IRS may make it harder to avoid declaring crypto on tax returns. And the U.S. IRS may make it harder to avoid declaring crypto on tax returns. The U.S. IRS is about to deploy a simple trick to make it far harder for taxpayers to avoid declaring their cryptocurrency assets. Bahrain's central bank authorizes a UK's facet to test blockchain-based solutions. The central bank of Bahrain authorized UK-based fintech firm Facet to begin testing the tokenization of hard assets in Bahrain's regulatory sandbox according to a press release shared with AMB Crypto. The firm has so far raised around $4.7 million in a pre-seed round from strategic backers in the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Kuwait, and Singapore. Next article, Ripple-powered Neom partners with Volopay to boost corporate card emittance. Ripple partner Neom joins efforts with Volopay Fintech to increase scale of issuance of corporate bank cards for companies of all shapes and sizes. Asian-based fintech giant Neom has teamed up with the Volopay platform from Singapore, and these two companies will together create a new solution to ease business spending. Volopay intends to utilize enterprise-grade API solutions provided by Neom to issue individual corporate cards for employees of companies. These cards will be tracked by software and a mobile app in real-time mode. Neom will also make sure that these corporate cards issued by Volopay are accepted in any part of the globe. 
Next article, Ripple partner ACI Worldwide teams up with MasterCard to create a new payment solution globally. ACI and MasterCard announced the start of their cooperation in the payment sphere with the goal of improving real-time payments for central banks, payment service suppliers, financial institutions, and other entities that deal with real-time payments. The two major companies dealing with the payments plan massive improvements in infrastructure, localization of payments, and access solutions. ACI Worldwide is a leader in providing software and solutions for digital payments around the world, helping to innovate the constantly developing market of remittances and real-time payments. By entering the collaboration, ACI and MasterCard plan to combine forces and expertise to come up with a unique payment solution, and it will include the following. Flexible deployment options, adaption to local market requirements, and ISO 20022. I want to send a quick thanks out to at XRP Crypto Wolf for the content. On the next article, California governor signs law bringing state new tools to regulate crypto. The California department responsible for the regulation of financial services will soon have more powers to supervise the cryptocurrency industry. On the next article, Ripple to offset carbon emissions for the XRP ledger. And Ripple has created a tool allowing blockchain firms to source renewable energy. And it's going to lead by example. Ripple has committed to going carbon net zero by 2030. And the firm has created a tool to allow blockchain firms to purchase clean energy to power their networks. The XRP ledger foundation will be the first to use the tool to offset XRPs carbon emissions. In the next article, Chinese stock exchanges progress with blockchain. There have been two pieces of Chinese blockchain related news for stock exchanges recently and China's main market, the Shanghai Stock Exchange, unveiled a blockchain pilot and the blockchain custody system for Beijing regional equity market, the so-called fourth board was launched. Its blockchain solution is for online stock registration and transfer for unlisted securities. And the Shanghai Stock Exchange received the China Securities Regulatory Commission's CSRC approval. And a big part of its role involves integrating with the supervisory systems, which in the case of CSRC also leverage blockchain. And in the next article, the number of crypto users shatters the 100 million worldwide, stated in a Cambridge study. Ripple, how cryptocurrency can be a viable route to sustainability for financial technology, is the headline of the next article. And into the article, there's no doubt that a fundamentally digital future is on the horizon for global finance. But... It's fintech, namely cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, that can ensure this future is a more sustainable one. On the next and final article of this video, interest in Bitcoin soars in Egypt amid economic crisis and unemployment. A growing number of Egyptians are reportedly turning to Bitcoin amid rising unemployment and the economic crisis. An Egyptian Bitcoin community is seeing a huge spike in the number of members interested in Bitcoin mining and trading. So many Egyptians are drawn to Bitcoin amid the issue at hand and the economic crisis and resulting unemployment. So again, as the world comes in through BTC, they're going to find there are better, faster, more secure, and more efficient options out there. Assets such as Ripple and Stellar with low energy consumption. And then again, that will help the price for the retail investors on assets such as these. I'm going to leave you with a final thought. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. I'm telling you it's going to be worth it. And remember, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Much love. We'll catch you in the next one.